Hello everyone, we hope you are doing great. This is Sudeep Samanjai and I'm alumnus of Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. And today in this following session, we have KVP by All India Rank 2 in the essay category. So speaking about KVP by essay, it's an exam given by 11th graders or first pre-university equivalents to challenge their way through the Indian Institute of Science gates. If you can manage to get an All India Rank within around 250 to 200 and within, you will definitely bag a seat in Indian Institute of Science. And if not, you have a space in Indian Institute of Science Education and Research to go and pursue your career ahead. And most importantly, it's a fantastic experience, both on the learning prospects as well as uh, venturing and for the first timer. And this is probably the first exam which you are competing uh, at national level as soon as you enter the 11th grade which is the first experience when you get into this competitive exam space and compete with the whole country and today since it's the first uh, exams which you are precisely taking up it is very essential to learn from the experience of students who themselves have cleared with an amazing rank this is because most of your anticipation and most of your uh, expectation from the paper might be of the reality and speaking to some of the students who have achieved well will definitely give you a clear insight on how to attend the paper and how to channelize yourself during the exam and how to walk out with a pride and smile so let's welcome mr Preetu puraket hi Preetu, how are you i'm fine sudeep i'm fine yeah so how is isa treating you sort of yeah, I see is a lot of fun. There is a lot of course pressure, but yeah, it's a fun place to be. Yeah. And you're choos choosing a major? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be choosing a bio major. That's really great to know. And students at the moment are really interested to know about your preparation tips and what you want to speak about that. So can you th throw some light on that? Right. So uh, about the preparation for KVPI, it is I would say in some, said, in some ways it is similar to how you would prepare for any other competitive exam, but it is slightly different from how you would prepare for, let's say, the JE or the NEED. So for example, if you, if you take a look at like the important topics, for example, in physics, they tend to, they tend to move towards the electricity and magnetism side. That seems to be quite popular. Optics and mechanics, mostly they try to avoid questions that uh, involve a lot of calculation and try to uh, give questions which involve uh, sort of your spatial knowledge, your, uh, your ability to uh, uh, sort of look at things in a logical manner without getting confused. Then uh, the other thing is uh, chemistry, uh, I always find that in every paper, they tend to include a lot of organic chemistry, really easy reactions. But the problem is that class 11 students by, by November are usually not taught organic chemistry at all. It usually starts either at the very end of class 11 or at the beginning of class 12. So organic chemistry is something that students should really I mean, pay attention to uh, because the questions that come in KVPI from these sections are actually pretty easy. But unless you know them, you won't be able to solve them. Then uh, for math, I'd say it is mostly normal, like any math that you would expect, uh, like algebra, polynomials, and uh, things like that. But sometimes uh, Olympiad topics like number theory come up, but those are pretty rare. And then the most importantly, I would like to talk about bio because biology is a subject in which people a lot, a lot of people try to tend to ignore it during essay. But I would say that is a huge mistake because biology is arguably the easiest section of the paper. And I would say that uh, most of the questions come from class 10 knowledge. At least 80% of them come from class 10 knowledge. And for the rest, just a, a perfunctory browsing through class 11 and 12 syllabus is enough to get you almost a full score on that section. It's basically free marks. It gives you a huge edge over other competitors. Right, so that's that's about the important topics, yeah. That's nice to hear from you, Pura, uh, Purka. Right. And uh, can you speak a bit about uh, the time management and uh, your KVPY attending strategy? 
Right. So basically, time management is uh, quite important in KVPY, as must be pretty obvious. So uh, I uh, basically the method that I used to follow was to attempt biology first, because uh, the questions in biology will either be like uh, you either know them or you don't. So there is no thinking in the biology section, at least for most of the questions. So you should start biology and finish it off within 20 minutes or less. 20 minutes is the maximum amount of time you should be spending on biology. Then I used to move on to chemistry. And again, chemistry is also pretty much knowledge based, but there might be some numer numerical questions. So I use, I would say around 40 minutes for chemistry is nice. This, this sort of 20 minutes of biology uh, 40 minutes of chemistry gives you ample amount of time, one hour each for physics and mathematics, which is, I think, perfect. And then you come to the fact that KVPI has these uh, one mark questions and two mark questions, right? Uh, so the two mark questions tend to be more difficult and they also have a greater uh, uh, chance of, uh, they also have a greater negative marking. So I would uh, prefer students to attempt the part two questions first because then you can attempt the harder questions with a clearer mind. So uh, uh, basically attempting the more rewarding questions with a greater chance of getting them correct. That's the basic idea. But then again, here is a very important thing we need to consider that when we start attempting the harder questions towards the beginning of the exam, we tend to sort of uh, get stuck on problems that are a little tricky and forget about time management. So one must be careful about that. Right. Mostly the questions in essay tend to include topics from class 12 as well. Right. There will be topics that will be there from class 11 and 12, but the questions are quite simple. So I would suggest that the best strategy is to at least know the content of the chapters. I mean, let it not happen that you can't attempt a question because you have just never seen the topic before. There are several questions that they give, which are very easy questions, but you won't be able to solve them unless you've seen the topic before. So yeah, I would ask students to at least browse through the chapters of class 11 and 12 before they go to give the exam. Yeah. So when it comes to KVP by essay question paper, students right. are pretty much giving it for the first time and yeah. they're likely to face a lot of crisis. So can you yes. throw some light on the yeah. potential crisis which arises and uh, how uh, they can navigate themselves through that so that they can read? Right, right, right. So the deal with KVPY most often what it is is that they sometimes frame questions in a way that is very uh, sort of uh, uh, very different from questions which you will have faced either in uh, your practice exams for even even previous years KBPI papers won't prepare you for all the kinds of questions that they'll throw at you, right? There will always be questions that will be quite challenging. There will there will be questions that are easy. There will be questions that are uh, medium effort, but there will be quite tricky questions. The main thing that you need to understand is that attempting all of the questions is not important. Each and every question has its own score and so your goal must be to maximize your score instead ma instead of maximizing your the number of attempted questions right so fee so whenever you find a question that uh, you have worked on maybe you have started the calculation but you're not getting anywhere maybe you're trying to figure out what the question means maybe you spent a lot of time on it and you feel like the, all this time will go to waste if i abandon this question now do not ever think like that Right. Even if you've uh, spent a lot of time in it, if you're not moving forward with it, just leave it over there. There will be several very, very simple questions in the paper and your goal must be to answer all the questions that you know. Let it not happen that there are easy questions in the paper, but you won't be able to solve them because you don't have the time. Right. Time management is very important. Yeah, that's all I'd say. So one of the crucial things which happens in the examination is the confidence and mentality management yeah. Being from our own experiences we know that if we get a couple of questions wrong initially or sometimes you know paper is arranged in such a way that if your luck is not proper all that in the set which you have got all the tough questions will come at the start which yeah comes, yeah which kind of dilutes your confidence to the very minimum so how, what do you 
want to speak uh, can you throw some words on the confidence management which is very essential for the students especially in the first exam that central level exam students right. are taking up right right so yeah uh, i mean at the exam level i would say that uh, as as i said earlier attempting and solving every question is not important attempting the questions that you know and attempting them correctly that is more important that is the kind of uh, mentality you should have and then again i would say that uh, to students who are going about to give the exam even if you feel that you are not prepared enough for essay just give the exam every exam experience that you have in in actual real time you know doing practice tests is okay but every experience of an actual national level exam is very very important and it will prepare you for later exams right do not just back out from the exam thinking you'll prepare better for sx i have heard several people say that they're not going to give sx because they're going to prepare better and give sx instead but there is no point of doing that just give the exam attempting sa gives you a huge edge over other competitions because a there are a lot fewer people who give sa and b people can choose their favorite subjects in sx which makes the competition a lot tougher so people who are good at physics will choose physics in sx people who are good at bio will choose bio and all in all the scores go a lot higher but in sx what uh, but in sa what happens is everybody has to give the same uh, attempt the same questions so if you are prepared equally with all the subjects you have a huge edge over there so yeah and anyways even if you give sa even if you give sx having two ranks from two different exams will obviously make your chances better of getting a rank enough to get into either an either isc or an iser right all that being said like all that talk about ranks and everything being said i would say just have fun kvpi is a very fun exam and it is that is what it is it's just an exam and it's not one that will affect your life very much it won't affect your life irreversibly if you do well in sa very nice you will have a great opportunity to study at some very nice institutes if you don't do well in sa no worries you still have another attempt at sx right so just don't worry about it just be tension free and give the exam for the sake of giving the exam yeah so that's really nice to hear from you uh, preetu i am able to recall a lot of my own experiences but coming to the most important segment the kvpy is precisely 3 days away and from 3 days pre precisely from now students will find themselves in the center of the exam hall so any words for these students for just these 3 days right so like i was saying earlier bio is an is a really really important section over here because it contains like uh, as i was saying very easy questions which you'll be able to solve almost entirely and they require the least amount of effort so i'd say if you haven't studied bio if you haven't studied bio thinking uh, i don't have bio so what will i do if you haven't studied bio just spend the last few days glancing through the class 10 textbook that you had whatever you had along with if you can get them the class 11 and 12 ncert textbooks right just glance through them look at the topic sort of remember what you had learned in class 10 and that will get you through 80% of all the bio questions and the remaining you can if you if you if you like to you can read the ncert textbooks and they will help you a lot then i'd say apart from bio if you if you like if you're done with bio then i'd say it, it helps to look up some basic organic chemistry mechanisms because sometimes you get questions which are based on those and if you're uh, quite confident with those and your and you want practice in physics and math then i'd say problem solving is the best best thing to do right now like what i tell you to do is in the last few days get into the momentum of solving uh, logically intensive problems right so being able to solve uh, uh, problems that will test your thinking that will test your uh, uh, sort of problem solving ability being able to uh, do this will actually get you into sort of the mood for solving tough problems it's the sort of like a momentum and that will take you through the exam very easily right that's really nice to hear from you preetu yeah and 
to add a little dose of uh, motivation for the students who are giving KBPY. Can you just speak a little bit on how you felt when you got All India Rank 2? Because All India Rank 2 must be amazing, man. That's like, you know, ah, right. so, comes in a very positive rush. Uh, right. So, so it's actually really funny because uh, it took me a very long time to ex uh, even realize exactly how how big it was because uh, I, I during that time I was at an astronomy national Olympiad camp, right? And uh, when the result was released, so everywhere around me uh, were people who had got like rank three, four, six, ten, fifteen, and things like that. So everybody in the camp had like two digit ranks, and so. I, it sort of didn't register at the time how big either of our achievements were. So only after I came back home did I uh, and like people started calling me and stuff. Did I realize that yeah, this is big, yeah. That that would have been a wonderful experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a memorable one. It's gonna yes. last lifelong. And yes, that's in fact pre pre two for whatever hard work you have put forward. You're really, a, you're truly an inspiration for the students and you have done an amazing job throughout. And I myself, I'm proud to call you as my junior in IAC. <laughs> this is definitely a very big joy. And to all the students, uh, your KVPY exam is coming up. Do not really worry. You have heard from the expert himself. So it's fine go give the exam enjoy the exam to the max and whatever you cannot execute it learn it because whatever you're going to learn is going to take you miles far from where you are at the moment so by saying right. this i would like to conclude this session looking forward for more such engagements so thank you right thanks thanks